Okay, we're going to talk about GCS 900 and lane guidance. Um, so you can see that we're on the road here. Um, typically, we run uh, the curb line is purple. Uh, you got the close to um, black lines. It's going to be um, gutter line and top back of curb. And then we've got some uh, sidewalk on here and as well as contour. So um, we standardize all those colors to, to try and not make it very confusing, right? So um, if you go into the next just bad habits there I thought I could zoom in because of earthworks in my phone right so if I wanted to um, take this surface right here this 2% um, that is the boulevard or the, uh, um, the sidewalk here right let's just call it a 2% that that's what it is I would uh, uh, be able to interpolate that or um, uh, project that surface out past the curb line if I needed to um, grade past that you know for instance using the two percent here if I have a big fill I can control my uh, I can control my water in a big fill or a big cut and then you know using that crown or that surface all the way down right so to do that I'm going to press um, the lane guidance bu button over here so um, if I tap on that the no, no master alignment is is selected so you wanna, and then it said be uh, approximately parallel to the required lane. So, you know, curb line, any line on the screen you can use, right? So, so it's gonna ask me to select a master alignment. Typically it's gonna be like center line is probably the easiest thing to use. And then select MA, you don't have to be selected right over the top of it. It's gonna do the select the closest one. So, um, so then at that point <clears throat> you can, you can select two lines um, so I can show you here, we'll select uh, two lines, um, select that one, select red side, and then if I select the um, other side here, it should, in theory, take out the um, center line, if I'm reading this correctly. So push OK, and you can see I selected here. So you can see that um, my it has selected the two lines that I selected. So it was the back, uh, it was the, the the curb line of the other lane, and then it was the curb line right next to me. So in theory, it took out the um, uh, the ditch here. So you can see real close. I don't know if you can see it, the gray line right there. It took out that ditch. So now it just interpolated that surface all the way across here, right? So. Um, if I want to go back to my original design, press that, and now I'm back to original design. So you can see, I guess that wasn't the ditch, that was the curb line. So I, I selected the high spot right there. So, um, but if you want to do it just, if you want to just do a quick one, you can, uh, wherever your, your focus point is here, you can tap that on. And wherever that focus point is, that's going to be the easiest way to do it. Uh, that is going to just highlight the surface that you are currently on so you could see between the two lines that I'm on it selected the the sidewalk so now I can you can see my curb line right there so you can see that in that indentation I'll zoom out here and you can see that the um, crown is now on so now my my blade is going to be going to just that surface so it's a super handy feature especially on roads um, I haven't really monkeyed it with uh, on uh, commercial sites or anything else because there's the master alignment's hard. It's very lineal, um, but it is a really cool feature that I like. I think it's super underused, um, and it's uh, something that we can kind of go back and forth on. So if you tap that, now I get my my uh, original design here. Um, tap it again, and then it, wherever that focus point. So if I were to move, like for instance, that six percent, so that's really handy for cutting curb in. If I can get that focus point once into that 6% on that curve and I just hit lane guidance and I've got the master alignment selected, it's automatically gonna to do that. So um, that's the, the shortcut key is you can always just tap on that. As soon as you have your master alignment selected, just tap on that and then it's gonna, wherever your dozer blade is, so it's very adjustable and customizable for whatever work you're doing. So setup is super, super quick. So I would put my, my red focus point in to that 6%. And then I would just tap on that. And then I could grade the entire site at a 6% based off of that vertical profile of the, um, of the road. So, um, so then when you're, you're, you're putting your curb, it's, it's pretty handy. So let me know how you use it. It's uh, a handy feature. I think that has as many uses that have, have not even been, um, uh, portrayed yet.